the category index page will show a list of categories along with a number of items for each category and also we'll be designing a page that will show all of the items from a specific category let's go let's begin by duplicating the shop index page and we'll call this shop categories okay we got to change a couple of things here um, the active menu indicator will stay at shop because we're still within this uh, this area but here home we're going to say home slash shop slash and in here we're going to say categories so that take takes uh, care of our page header now in here we're basically we basically need to show a few cards with the category names and uh, the number of items in that category uh, we don't need category filters or paginations or display modes so we can delete those uh, we don't need these three elements so we can delete those and uh, let's use this element as a template remove the symbol first and this will be category card one uh, you can actually remove the image remove this short text and also remove these elements and here let's start with the category name let's say corporate let's uh, bring it up 90 to the top 60 to the left and let's uh, bring this up like that and let's uh, add a number here on the right side that shows us how many items do we have in a specific category so uh, let's actually duplicate this one we're going to say one here for a style we're going to use again Futura book and let's use like a big font size like a hundred and of course use the muted text uh, you can even go lighter than that for example like this using the light border color and let's position this at 30 pixels from the top and maybe 90 or even 60 I think 60 from the right so we have the same padding on on this box all right now what we can do here to create a nice effect like a stack we can actually uh, duplicate the card BG and we can move it down to create an interesting effect like this so we're going to move it six pixels to the right from the initial position and nine to the bottom from the initial position all right and now you know we can simply um, duplicate this and make sure we align it properly with our grid what else do we have we have portfolio and let's align these elements to the right so we can do stuff like this 10 and then another one this is two and this is number three move it up move it down after that 90 pixels of distance and here we're going to say something like e-commerce all right and then simply move our navigation back up and resize our page simply move the footer back up and we are done so that was a, a very easy build for our categories page and actually yeah i did miss something here these actually need to go up like that and again like that okay so that is the category uh, index page now let's see about the category single page and for that well we'll, we'll simply um, create a copy of this artboard so instead of desktop HD for example we can put something like category index and here category single and for the category single actually uh, we need to change this section here so it's going to be shop slash categories and here let's say for example that we're browsing the corporate category okay now the content here will uh, actually borrow something from here so we'll get the product card we'll get the pagination 
and the category filter. Uh, sorry, the display modes. So we'll get those as well. And we're just going to paste them in here. All right. Get rid of the category cards, category filter. Okay, we don't need category filter. And for pagination, we'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, display, the display modes. Yeah, we'll just uh, move all the content. And then let's see where the pagination is. Let's uh, bring these up. Let's align everything properly. And then since we have a single page here, we can get rid of these and just align this in the center and then bring up the footer and we're done. So this is how um, the page for browsing a specific category looks like. Finally, let's um, select our canvases and get rid of some of that unnecessary space. And that completes the category related pages. Coming up next, we'll uh, start building the product or item single page.